Hey everyone, I hope you're good. Today I'm going to break down a really cool concept called Answer Relevance in Bragg. So, here's the formula for calculating Answer Relevance in a Bragg system. We have P Relevance that's going to be equals to 1 over n times the sum of the cosine similarity between the embeddings of the possible answers and the original questions. So the one right here is the cosine similarity. Yeah, and I know that it's look a little math heavy, but I'm going to break it down for you. First, we have something called this cosine similarity that is basically a metric to measure how similar two things are in a vector space. In this case, we're going to measure how the question is similar to the answer that is being retrieved by the reg. Imagine that both your questions and possible answers are turned into vectors, or just lying in space. If the lines point in the same direction, they are super similar, meaning that the answer is likely to be relevant. Next up is the n, the one right here. And n is just the number of possible answers the system is looking at. So for every possible answer, we calculate its similarity to the original questions and then take the average of all these. This sum right here, the sigma symbol, tells us that we are summing up all the cosine similarities and divided by n, giving us a overall relevance score. So you might be asking yourself, how does a reg use this? Whenever you ask a question, a reg retrieves multiple possible answers from a huge vector database. It then compares the original question that you made to each of these answers, finds out which ones are the most similar using the cosine similarity that I just showed you, and generates a response based on the most relevant one. So I'm Brazilian, and let's say that, for example, if I ask what is the capital of Brazil, the RAG would retrieve several possible answers and compare them to my original questions and pick the one that is closest. So basically, that's how a RAG system measures the answer relevance. It uses cosine similarity to make sure you get the most accurate response possible. It's pretty cool, right? Besides the answer relevance, we have other metrics that I'm going to show in the next lectures. Besides that, thanks for sticking around. And if you like this video and want more content like this, hit the follow and I'll see you next time.